My first guest tonight is a three-time NBA All-Star who just helped Cleveland win its first title in 52 years. Please welcome world champion Kevin Love. Now, what is its feeding schedule? Because I want to make sure it doesn't get over hungry. This really feels like a, a baby when you're holding it. And it's nice and shiny, too, after we won. Not so much. Incredible. Here, put this in the seat next to you. It's another guest on the show okay, tonight. There you go. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is the actual trophy right there. Was it okay for me to hold it just now? Because I know there's like some sports things you're not allowed to touch. Like if you touch the master's green jacket, they come and kill you. <laughs> is that okay? Am I in trouble from no, holding that? You're all good. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, okay, this was your first finals because while well, Cleveland made it to the finals last year, you were out, right? Right. You were on the DL. And so, uh, what did it feel like to be in your first finals? Uh, it was pretty surreal. I had said last year, um, after got, getting my shoulder hurt in the Eastern Conference quarterfinals in game four against the Celtics, we made it all the way to the finals game six and lost. You know, they did the champagne showers, we lost on our floor. I remember game one was actually in Oakland against the Warriors, and having seen that game, having felt the energy there, um, I had never wanted to be in a game so bad. So to be back, it was surreal. It was unbelievable. And to win in game seven, uh, all the odds stacked against us being down 3 1, having the major comeback. No team has ever done it, especially on the road. Down 3-1. Yeah, okay, surreal. so what, what, did you, what did you, like, have to say to each other? Was there something overtly you guys were saying to each other in the locker room before you went into game five? Because no one's ever come back. Truthfully, the last two years, we were a team that always thrived under chaos. So for us, it was, uh, we just looked at it like our backs were against the rope. We knew we could get it done. We had all the stats that, and everybody talking the same. We couldn't do it, and we knew that. You Up know, against the team with the the greatest season record. wins. Yes. Uh, I think statistically, I mean, historically great on their home floor. So we knew we had to go back to Oakland, beat them there, take it back to our place for Game Six in Cleveland at Quicken Loans Arena, which we weren't going to lose that game. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Game Seven, uh, anything can happen. It came came down to a two-minute game. We made the plays we needed to and, and got the win. Well, with 40 seconds left, you made a big play. Um, uh, you stopped Steph Curry for for putting up three. Let's take a look at this, and I want you to tell me uh, what's going through your head. Well, 40 seconds left. Curry. Well, I really had to put on my dancing shoes with him because I knew he was going to throw everything at me. He actually gave the ball up to Draymond Green, got it back, and I mean he's a two-time. MVP. I had to do everything I could to stay in front of him, and luckily I was there. Well, what did it feel like? Because he gets a shot off. Well, he got he got that shot. Like you were all over him like a spider monkey. What but, I kept saying is, but he got around. He got a shot off. How, what does that feel like? Because you know he can hit it from from like anywhere. Detroit. So I know I you know he was three steps behind the three point line. I knew I had to guard him there. But he's a, he's a guy that you know has so much confidence with the ball. I mentioned he threw everything at me, but when he threw it up, he usually. You know, shoots it and looks at you. So I kind of had to look back and think, okay, he's not looking at me. I contested the shot. I think I'm okay. And you know, he missed it short. We got the rebound and eventually got to the free throw line. Braun hit the second. That was it. What is the look he gives you when he has made the shot? <laughs> it's it's uh it's painful. not so great. It's painful. painful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and throughout that series, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't great. He had a lot of those. So. Uh huh. Yeah. He looks at you and he goes, "Why are you looking at me? The ball's going through the right. hoop over there." Right. Well, let's talk about he, so he tosses out to uh, Draymond Green, okay, before it goes back to him to take that shot while right. you're covering him. Let's talk about Draymond Green. This whole season, he has been racking, if, for lack of a better word, right. the nut sacks right. of opponents. <laughs> I mean, he went after LeBron. Um, right. Were you, was ever a fear, like, if you, were, if you were up against Draymond Green, that you thought to yourself, he's going to work my balls like a speed bag? <laughs> like, does that go through your mind at all? I don't, I don't know if that was a thought process, but you're always, you're always taught to. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Have you had your children yet, is what I'm asking. Not Have you had yet. children yet? No. Well, then stay away from that man. Okay. So, okay. I, I mean, I did my best job to, uh, I guess, protect myself, for lack of a well better Well done. Time. Excellent ball handling.